Hey, what is up, Food Tube fam? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Well, it's about that time again, so sit back and get ready for another food adventures. So I'm here at Nomad Donuts in North Park. First time here. So we're gonna see what kind of donuts they have inside, all right? Alright guys, so here are the donuts from Nomad Donuts. Let's take a look and see what I got. I called out the names, but I forgot what they were called. But I know that that is a PB&J. That's a pumpkin spice donut. I think that's a vegan one. I'm not sure, I think so. And I forgot when that what that one was called. That one looked pretty interesting. That one is called, and this donut right here is called the Yuzu pie with meringue. So I'm going to put the names of each donut below so you can see what exactly they're called and how they're spelled. All right. And also, I also stopped by Donut Star to pick up this Oreo cookies and cream donut because I didn't want to deal cuz I, I didn't want to do just 3 donuts today. Um, the 3 from the 3 from Nomad Donuts were the only ones that looked appealing to me at the time. And I wanted to make it even by making it four donuts, so I stopped by Donut Star and picked up this one. All right, what is up, guys? I'm back. I'm here with the donuts. Check it out. As you can see, three donuts from Nomad Donuts and one donut from Donut Star. Check it out. First time trying the Nomad Donuts donut. So see how I like them. All right, first. I'm gonna try this one right here. Wow, these donuts are kind of heavy and hefty. You know what? I think I did have a donut. You know what? I think I have tried one donut from Nomad Donuts a while back. I remember saying that it was kind of bready. So I don't know. We'll see how these are today. Look at the difference. So the Nomad Donuts kind of hefty compared to the Donut Star. Donut Star Donuts are really light and airy which i love so i don't know man it's kind of hefty so we'll see how bready this donut is so 
All right. All right, gonna give this one a bite. See how this, see how this goes. Yeah, really bready. No wonder I haven't gone to Nomad Donuts. Because I remember thinking those too bready, and they are. Look at that. It's thick. It's like eating a, a thick dinner roll. Hey, the toppings are on point, though. Look how thick that bread is. I really like that cream, though. That cream topping. Yeah. This topping, this, whipped, this meringue cream, it's fire. But the bread, the dough, the texture of the donut, ah, not feeling it. Mmm. Mm. That feeling inside though, mmm, that is fire. Mm. Just wish the texture of these donuts were more softer, lighter, and airier. Like the Donut Star Donuts. That meringue inside. I love donuts with a cream filling and cream on top. Mm. No, no, it's like it's like eating a loaf of bread. <laughs> So oh, good. Mm. All right, guys. So that was the yuzu pie with meringue. Man, the topping was fire. I'll give it that. Not feeling the dough at all. Too bready, really bready. So um, I don't know. No man donuts. You gotta lighten up on your dough. <clears throat> Get some air in there. Get some lightness to it. Because your toppings are on point. All right next, I'm gonna try the. I think this is a vegan pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice or something. Looks good, but I don't know if this is a cake donut. We'll see. It looks like it. I didn't think about that. All right, I'm going to give it a bite. No, it's yeast, but again, bready. Really tough. I don't know why I keep going back to some pumpkin spice flavors, even though I mentioned before that pumpkin is not my favorite flavor, but whenever there's a pumpkin spice dessert or treat out there, I go for it. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Alright guys, this is the PB&J. <clears throat> There's the jelly hole fill. The thing about Nomad Donuts I also notice is that they don't really frost or glaze their donuts well. It's just a little coating over it, a thin coating, that's it. Man, you need to step up your frosting game, Nomad Donuts. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Now this is like eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because it's bread. <laughs> Look at that jelly fill. Looks like looks like jelly mixed with peanut butter or something.
This will make a legit peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you don't want to think of it as a donut. <laughs> I'm half disappointed. Disappointed in the bread, the dough. Oh, toppings can use some work as well. No, I'm gonna skip on over to Donut Star. Donut Star never fails. Check it out. I'm just holding this donut and it gets a little mushy. Not, not soggy, but it's just because it's soft and airy and light. Here it is. Oreo cookies and cream donut. Mmm. Now that's how a donut should be, texture-wise, soft. Mmm, yeah. All right, guys, so that was my breakfast. Those were three donuts from Nomad Donuts in North Park and one donut from Donut Star. Total of four donuts. And as you can see, I was pretty disappointed with the Nomad Donuts. I kind of thought I would be because the last I remember, I tried it and it was bready. And they are still bready to this very day. Really tough. The dough, the texture, it's like binding on a uh, just a hardened dinner roll. Yeah, that bad. So I don't know, man. Donut, Nomad Donuts, you need to do something about your donuts. Toppings are on point, like I said, but yeah. Um, Donut Star, always on point, always deliver, soft texture. Enjoy that Oreo cookies and cream donut. All right, guys, so that does it for my donut fix this morning. That was my breakfast. And um, yeah, a little bit later during lunch, I'm gonna be joined by my homie, Johnny, who I haven't kicked it with in years. So I'll check back in with you guys at lunchtime. Peace. This is my homeboy Johnny right here. What up, man? <laughs> All right, everybody. I got a guest for um for my little cheat day today. Is one of my old boys right here, my homie Johnny. How long have we known each other? For years, man. Years, right? Yeah. Years. He taught me how to DJ a little bit. I wasn't that good, but I learned. <laughs> right. But anyway, we're gonna go out. I don't know where Glenn's gonna take me. Um, hopefully, he might be allergic to anything. Turn red and go to ER. <laughs> <laughs> get an enema and all that stuff but anyways oh. glenn today glenn. you know he always goes out and do all his blog and i want to see one day where he's going to take me and that's <laughs> what's going to happen today and uh he's going to surprise me where we go so i don't even know yeah. where we're going so he's yeah. going to surprise me but it's going to be fun all right so you ready to do this yeah as long yeah. as it does i brought my pepto bismol just in case. <laughs> perfect all right, all right let's go eggs so we're on our way right now to eggies it's called eggies and i was telling him like what is this it's a burger place. What kind of place is called Eggies? <laughs> I'm thinking like... Yeah, I hope it's open. I don't even know if it's open. Oh. All right. Here's Eggies right here. Oh, oh, you got to order like this. How's it going? All right, so we're here at Eggies. My boy Johnny is ordering some food right now. So we'll see you guys with the food when you get it. A burger each, we're gonna cut it in half. That sounds good. And then we try. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's good. So let's check this out. What do we have here? Which, what's what? Okay, so did he have it? Out. Did he have it or anything yes, like that? Yes, he did. Oh, word. Let me see what's this. What's in your... You got to put the, the sticker. What is this? This is... I don't know what that is. What's yours? Oh. Oh, oh that's the just chicken. This the chicken. Yeah, the chicken. That's so, chicken. So this is the what came first. Yes. And you know what that name is? What came second? <laughs> what came second? <laughs> What, what did you get exactly? What's this? Oh, is that our uh, bacon? Is it what else is in there? Bacon, uh, beef, eggs, avocados? No, no, no. Okay, then no, I don't know what that was. So, we're gonna try. So, I uh, this is why my recommendation plan mm -hmm. like when we do it, we're gonna go like uh, after you take one bite and after we swallowed it, we go we can go one to five and go one, two, three, and give me your best number five <laughs> being the best. 
<laughs> like this. Then I'm gonna see your score compared to mine. You have to bite down and say, I go one, two, three, and then you, then you, I, I'll see how five being the highest, <laughs> one being the lowest, and see what you're compared to oh. mine at the same time. So we're like, and so then we ask each other why. So which one is this one again? Uh, the burger. The second. <laughs> the, the second. What came? The second burger. What came second. So want me to just grab one side yes. of it? Or what? Grab okay. one side. Okay. So it's recording. Yeah. All right. So, so we're gonna try this, right? And then me and Glenn's gonna give our rating. Yep. Not yet. Wait for me. Wait for me. Check it out. It's got some eggs inside there, bacon. I don't even know what this ah. name of the sandwich Look is. Look at this. Look at Overload, right? <laughs> Overload. But then it seems like more bun, though. I know. <laughs> All right. The bun is huge. I'll put the name of the sandwich down below. It's called Big Bun. Big. That's what it's called. <laughs> Big Bun. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> One bite. See how it goes. All right. One. Two. Three. three. Hmm. What is that, sausage? Huh. Sausage, huh? Oh, it's the sausage and bacon. Burger, yeah. And the egg. Look at that. Right? Egg? I, like, I like eggs in my sandwich. Want to Wait, right? not yet. Not yet? <laughs> you want to try them a little more? I love eggs in my sandwich. Me too. It's like a, a breakfast sandwich, it mm -hmm. tastes like. Yeah. But what kind of meat is it? It's supposed to be a burger. I think it's um sausage or something. Mm. Mm. You like it? It. It's only... Um, after the scores, I'll tell you why. Um, there's, um, I don't eat a lot of breakfast sandwiches. Mm. So I can't compare this to anything out there, you know what I mean? So um, it's what do you want to give it? Ready? Uh huh. I'm, I'm gonna count three, and then Glenn's gonna rate one to five at the same time and see what you what what he thinks of it and what I think of it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> three. Same part. Yeah, I give it a three, man. Why would you say that? So for me, like I said, um. I don't eat breakfast sandwiches a lot. I'm picky about my bacon too. I like to eat. You know, I'm, I'm more health conscious, mm, so I like healthy. to. I like to eat. I don't even know if this is the healthy bacon or not. I like sausage. I love sausage in my and I love egg in my sandwiches. Um, but I don't know. I'm not feeling like ah, this is the, the sandwich right here. You know, um, it's good. It's okay. So I'm not gonna go for the full five. I have to go somewhere in the middle. So I, that's why I pick like kind of a three around the three area, I guess. So yeah. What was your reason? For me, like I said, the only thing I like about this sandwich is that uh, the sauce, the sauce, I like the sauce, mm -hmm. whatever sauce is in there. I don't oh. know, what do you say the sauce is? Like a chipotle or kind of... I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's the secret sauce, wherever it is, good. Um, but to me, this sandwich, even though it has eggs, I mean, it's very mm -hmm. tasty, right? It's tasty, mm -hmm. but, but, <laughs> but I feel like it's something I could do at home. Oh yeah. Right? It's not something like I could throw bacon, eggs, and whatever sausage patty on the bread and it would taste the same. Yeah. The only difference is that little that sauce in there, but that doesn't, the sauce is good, but not great. Right, right. It gives a little kick to it, Yeah. But, but that's it. That's my opinion. That sounds yeah. right? Yeah, it sounds good. It's called egg excellent sauce. <laughs> yeah. and, and mystery meat. I don't know if it's a hamburger, sausage. It's like, it's not. That, see the meat color? It's different. It's like pink or I don't know what it is. You're right. You know what I mean? So, what is this meat? Is it a burger or is it a sausage? What is it? I thought I'm getting a burger, but it's not. It's not a burger. It doesn't look like a burger. It doesn't even look like it's cooked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So like I said, I'll put the, the actual name of this sandwich down below and maybe even the description of what meat this is actually. <laughs> it says it on the website, so we'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, no, but it's not. I wouldn't buy it again. All right, me neither. I wouldn't go backwards. Hey, just, you know, try this. And that, that's the whole purpose today is just to try this place out, try these sandwiches. So, you know. But I'm glad I tried it though. Yeah, yeah, you gotta try something before yep. you know if you like it or not. Yep, it's a hit and miss. Mm -hmm. Especially for the price of it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. So next up is the chicken sandwich, and it's called the What Came First. But unfortunately, as is what happens a lot of times with me, is that I forgot to push the record button. 
so I missed the few first bites that we took as well as the critique and the rating but I think I did give it a 3.5 and I kind of liked it a little better than the first sandwich so when I was looking at my phone which is what I used to record I noticed the record button wasn't pressed so that's where I immediately pressed it and that's where the video picks up as you will see and it was good it was mm -hmm. exactly the reason why I didn't pick a five is even though it's good mm -hmm. but it's just the flavor is there but not it just tastes like I feel like everything is just you're eating everything like much like there's yeah. nothing really stands out exactly right everything just tastes like uh, mm -hmm. what you call it like everything just yeah, yeah everything there's no yeah. nothing stands out apart yeah. from everything so, in there like the burger I taste it kind of tastes the same right the flavor and everything, the eggs and everything. Mm -hmm. The only difference is just that the little chicken taste and the little crunch. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that's a, so that's how I feel. Why yeah. I wouldn't give it. it tastes the same like the burger. Yeah, the except it's chicken. Except it's chicken. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah, and that's the only thing I say. Why I wouldn't give five. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad sandwich. It's not. No. But it's 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 not something I would like. I mean, beyond you, if I ever go back and if I ever give it a chance, I might buy this again. Right, right. But uh, it's not something I would just like crave for. <laughs> yeah. So no, I agree. But that's the only thing. It just tastes the same like a burger. Yeah. And it did have the same ingredients. The ingredients know, didn't taste. Everything except the, the meat. Like the mystery meat. <laughs> Can't say like it could be chicken. We don't even know. It says beef. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no. <laughs> but you know, thank you, Glenn. I, I hey, appreciate hey, thank it. you. Thank you. All right, so all right, guys. So that was our first try of Eggies. Well, we got two sandwiches. One was the what came first? Yep. And the other one, we're gonna call it the what came second. Yeah, what came second. But I'll give you the correct name. Yeah, I don't, later don't even on. know the. I don't even know the mystery meat. I, <laughs> we thought it was a burger, but it don't look like a burger. So right? yeah, so we're here in Liberty Station, Point Loma, and you know they got this little food area, food section area. They got little restaurants and shops. So that's where Eggies is located. So from here, we're gonna move on to. Dessert. Exactly. So we're going to head up to um, Kearney Mesa. All right. See you guys when we get there. Peace. Soon after. Alright guys, so we're walking into Cake de Pate, Cake de Pate. for some desserts. That's the name of it? Yeah. Oh, I thought like Cake de Pate. <laughs> I just saw it. You don't know? I just saw it on the internet and you know Yelp, whatever. Alright, so we are waiting for our desserts to come out. We're just chilling here, waiting for our desserts. Can't wait. First time trying this spot right here. You got um we ordered some crepe cakes, that's what they're called, crepe cakes. I got a ube crepe cake with a side of vanilla, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and Johnny, you got a Thai tea crepe cake with a side of vanilla ice cream as well. That's your cake de party. Yeah, I'm over here at Cake de Party. It's taking like 40 minutes to... Oh, don't get stuck. <laughs> this is the best for you. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Awesome. That's the ube and the vanilla. Oh, yeah. So what's that sauce? Oh, this is the Thai tea sauce. Some of the crepes have been with the dumb. Yeah, they don't need sauce. Is that one of the crepes that I'm going to use? Dumpy? Oh, okay. All right, so this is a crepe cake. Never had one before. I always wanted to try it all the layers so this is the ube unfortunately there are no sauces to go with this and i would love some sauce on this it just adds to the presentation but oh well 
I'm gonna eat it how it is. At least I got a side of vanilla ice cream with it. What Johnny got right here, he's got, look at that sauce. sauce right there. He's got it. look like a, like a sriracha. <laughs> sriracha, <laughs> sriracha mayo. Sriracha mayo sauce. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, and, <laughs> and some mashed with some potatoes. For and look at these ice cream. <laughs> uh, I didn't order the kids my ice cream food. <laughs> exactly, dude. But I don't know. Uh, uh, you think it'd be a lot bigger, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, well, that's how you find out what things are about. Oh, no. So, yeah, it's nice. Right, I thought it would be like. It's interesting too. The it's picture looks skinny, but then it's actually a, yeah, a good size. Yeah, nice size right there. All right. My question is, is it worth both worth 20 bucks for it? How much with each? 10 something. Ten, okay, 10 each. That's so because the ice cream, the meat. Yeah, yeah the ice cream. The added to it. $3 in ice cream. Yeah. What? Because the, the ice cream was 7 bucks. And what makes it 10 is the little ice cream. So this better have diamonds up in here. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Okay. Try it by itself. Okay. All right. We're gonna try the Thai tea. Kind of hard to. The Thai tea crab cake. We both got vanilla ice With cream. With the three dollar ice cream. Three dollar ice cream. <laughs> kids, kids, kids size. Kids size. <laughs> You know what it tastes like to me? Mm. Like a sponge cake. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yes, yeah, a sponge cake. <laughs> Expensive sponge cake. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Who's been on? The ice cream is actually good. Yeah. It's smooth. It's not hard. It is smooth. Oh. <laughs> but it's not worth three bucks. Mm -hmm. For the size. Wow. Really? Three? But, but it's good. Mm. Okay. What do you think about the sauce though? On there. Let me taste that sauce. I think it do without it. Yeah. Huh? You didn't really need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Not at all. I wouldn't even get the fuck like that. You need these in layers. <laughs> um. I like that. The presentation is good. Mm -hmm. um, but mm. to me, when you taste it, it just tastes like a sponge cake. Yeah, to sponge me. cake. This That's all. It is. A fancy looking sponge cake. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're just layers of crepe, actually. Yeah. Right, now I can finally see I tried a crepe cake. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, what is your favorite ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla? Or, um, or a pistachio. Dude, I like pistachio. Mm -hmm. That's like my favorite ice cream. Yeah, I mean, even Joyce's favorite is pistachio. Pistachio is really good. Mm -hmm. There's really no, they all taste like you buy from the the grocery store or mm -hmm. at Baskin. It still yeah. tastes the same. Yeah. Except softer. <laughs> yeah. But would you buy this cake again? I would eat it again. It's very interesting. It is. Because the layer. You know what? I probably would buy it again, but different flavor. You know, because they have other flavors. Mm. But it's not a bad flavor. It's not a bad flavor though. No. And like, I like biting to it because it tastes it's different. Yeah, I like the texture of it. It's a different yeah, texture. Texture. Mm -hmm. Like it's uh it's like you're not eating a cake, <laughs> but you are. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like what are you eating? Alright, you wanna try the ube? Yeah, this, is, this is one you pick, huh? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Look at that ube layers right there. Purple. Well, let me try it without ice cream. Hmm. Just like a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or have you ever had um, mm. a dessert called Pandan? Yeah, the green? It mm -hmm. tastes like it mm. to me a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it does too. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Yeah. But between the two, which one you pick? I think I like the ube though. Me too. I like the ube. You know, I always pick ube desserts and smoothies. This would be perfect if it was just a little bit sweeter. Yes. Right? I always say that sometimes when I eat taro and ube desserts, when they're not sweet enough, I'm like, hey, I can use a little bit more sweetness. Yes, that's the only thing missing from this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's good, but yeah. it's not. If it'd be a little bit sweeter, man, it'd be like 
mm -hmm. on point. Yep. I agree, man. And it's not a bad cake. Yeah. You know what be good with it? I'm picturing in my head. What? Maybe more, a little bit more whip and fresh strawberry fruit. Oh, yeah. I'm at competition right now. And this will be the ultimate. Oh, yeah. Ultimate dessert. Yep. That'd be a good combo. Good presentation, too, as well. Yes. Yeah. Like whipped cream all over mm -hmm. it. Yep. Strawberry in the middle of the layers. Yeah. Man. <laughs> But I like it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you don't see crepe cakes a lot. No. Anywhere. No. I like how the layer just mm -hmm. tastes different. Yeah. Um. Mm. What's your opinion? Yeah, I like it. it. Tastes very good. I like the the flavor. It's a nice subtle little bit flavor. Yes. But like you said, you could use some more sweetness in there though. Definitely. Mm -hmm. 100%. If you put a little bit more sweetness, not, that thing would have been like mm -hmm. the bomb. Yep. You make your ice cream scoops a little bigger. <laughs> yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. That ice cream is actually good. No, it's good. Right? No, it's good. But it's just too small. Mm -hmm. Like you want more. Yeah. Like, that would just give us more, two, more than one to the little scoop. Mm -hmm. That dinky little scoop. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Glenn, for showing me these plates that I never tried before. Hey, thank you for our company. Now I know. Now yep. I know. Yep. So that was um, Cake de party. Crepe cakes. They were pretty good. You had the Thai tea. Thai tea, right? Thai tea, yeah. Yep. And had the ube. We split it and we got to enjoy both. And they were both pretty good. You know, we had our critiques of it, but for the most part, it was a pretty good cake. The texture. So yeah, um, I wouldn't mind trying the other flavors at another time. So that does it for this little treat, sweet treat. Thanks, Johnny, for your selflessness, man, for I'm, treating me. <laughs> you know, it's finding weird because it sounds like you have the same taste as I do. You do, exactly. That's weird because I'm in my head like my score and your score mm -hmm. and the way you critique stuff is yeah. similar. But yep, yep. Interesting. Exactly. All right, all right, guys. So I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but we're gonna sign off and see what. Go to the next. bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Bye, <laughs> right, guys. Peace. Three hours later. What's up guys? So I'm here with my wife and my sister-in-law. We're here at H Mart and we're about to try some Korean dogs. Let's go inside. So H Mart is a Korean market with a fancy bakery inside and a small food court with a few Korean food options. And we're heading to Myeonggrang Hot Dogs since we're gonna eat some Korean dogs. So this is the first time I will be trying these Korean dogs and I'm super excited. Run Run Rice Dog, order number 46. So we are inside H Mart right now, waiting for our Korean dogs. So what is that? Potato? Potato, potato hot dog? Korean dog? Potato dog? Potato dog. Oh, and just a mozzarella dog. Oh, 
right here you go. This is the hmm? Korean dog right here. Sugar coated. Let's give it a bite. Mm. I guess the balance is the best. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the cheese pool. Mm. Mm. It's about. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. good. The sugar is different. It's good with sugar. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the mozzarella dog is good. Mm -hmm. yep. I think the mozzarella dog without the dog is good. Mm. Is this what you had last time or with sausage? I, I only had cheese. Good guy. I never knew that hot dog and sugar. I know. They're good together. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Look at that. Mm. And it depends on their batter too. Mm -hmm. Like if it was like a donut batter. Alright. Just the potato one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. See the layers of the potato in there? I like the way it looks, you know what I mean? You know the cheese are only in the front, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's hot dogs in there too? Yeah. yeah. Can you get some like that? I would get this with no sugar on the potatoes though. Oh. And then dip it with the potatoes. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it. I know. I need to remind it all the time. Have you tried Bond's fried chicken? Korean fried chicken? They have um, it's, it's a Korean Bond. It's the name Bond. Not the supermarket. Oh. It's on um. Oh yeah, yeah, Bond. Bon. Like Bonchan. Yes, yeah, like Bonchan though. But they have the fried chicken packed with sugar like this too. Really? <laughs> yeah. So there's no more cheese in there? It's only on the top. Only on the top. How do they make these little squares? They just probably do it. But when the no, batter's wet, when the that. batter's wet and they roll it into them. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've, never, yeah. I've never seen that bakery. I want to go in there. Mm -hmm. Can you make that kind of? Last bite. Mm. Mm. That was good. Which one do you like better? The mozzarella. That's what Brian said. Mozzarella. So cheese only. Cheese only. Yeah, I could do it without the hot dog. Yeah. Gotta try it. Yeah, I gotta try it though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he doesn't eat pork. Mm. Right? Lately, does he say it? He doesn't say Because I haven't mm. been cooking. So that was Myung Grand hot dog, Korean dog. Had the mozzarella dog. You had the potato dog, right? Mm -hmm. Mozzarella and sausage. And sausage and potato. Those two dogs were pretty good. I think I like the mozzarella dog better. Love that cheese pool, the mozzarella in there. I love the sugar around it. Yeah. Next time I might try the mozzarella without the dog, but just the sugar around it. Yeah, these dogs are fire. I would come back again. Two in the zero.
right, so we're done with our Korean dogs. They were pretty good. Leave an H Mart now. All right, guys. Check back in with you guys a little later. What's up, guys? All right, just got back from H Mart, and man, those Korean dogs, the mozzarella corn dogs, were fired. I'm gonna have to go back and try some more of the other ones some other day. But yeah, it was my first time trying those. I've seen them on YouTube, friends telling me about them, so I'm glad I finally had an opportunity to try them out, and I really enjoyed it. So, all right guys, that does it for today's food adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a share, and a subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to click that notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.